Oh, there's a few of them about all right. I think yes. I, I hope people can, can see what, what I think of certain people in the government at the present time. And uh, unfortunately, the leader of the opposition, Fianna Fáil, uh, Mihal Martin, isn't, isn't on it, but I put him in the same bracket you as Jamie Dodgers. You're, they're Jamie Dodgers. Uh, Jamie <laughs> Dodgers, <yeah. laughs> Okay, John, you have a painting there, and you're going to tell me a story about it. Well, this is a painting. I did a little item about this dog called Kendi, of course, as I explained, he quite the reverse. Now, there he is. Uh, he's, sit he's sitting there now, it mightn't appear, but he's looking in, we're inside, he's looking at us, and we're inside looking out at him. So, this is what's going on. Now, this fella, uh, when um, we used to take him for a walk, I, well, the two of us, but I often took him for a walk when my wife was busy with something else. And we'd go down, uh, a road from where we lived, uh, down a kind of a, a, a fairly well-to-do section in, in Greystones in County Wicklow, and uh, we'd go down that road, and as we went down, uh, I'd have him on a lead, and I'd let him off then, when we were going through the, we were going through Greystones Golf Club, and then we came down to a road where there was a, a lassie-type dog in the he in this biggish house with a hedge going along it, and this fella and um, Lassie type dog, uh, this is what they did. They barked at one another, running up and down, the other lad inside the hedge, him outside the hedge, up and down the road for a, for a couple of minutes, up to the hedge, back down, and having a, a grand time, a barking at one another. And uh, then he, when he marched on, and his, he was as happy as Larry, uh, with a bit of excitement going up and down. One time, uh, wasn't the Lassie type dog, uh, and him at the same place we <laughs> over the met, and they didn't pass any remarks because the fun was 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 interrupted because uh, the, the 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 lassie type dog was 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 and he was here and they were looking at one another, uh, so they didn't have the fun. So the next thing is the lassie type dog took off up the thing, and your man took off as well on the outside, barking at one another. It was a bit of fun. This fellow also had a habit. Because uh, while there were sheep about here and there, uh, and uh, he had a habit, uh, he couldn't go after sheep because he wasn't allowed, but he went after crows and that was up, up, up above, and he'd be barking at them running across the golf course. So he got plenty of exercise, he enjoyed that. Another time, we used to take a walk from Greystones to a place called Kilcools, about six miles over the, the sea was on one side, over rough enough terrain. Now, he never liked that too much, but he had a habit. There was a, a rock about, we say, six foot from the ground, and he'd hop up there. We wouldn't know what he was up to, and then we had to sort of give him a, a pet. He was up at this rock. I took a photograph of him one time, and he just, there he is up in the rock, and he did that every time he went on that road. Another thing that he did, uh, was when I was out on business uh, and be coming home in the evening. Now we had a big gate and because he was, uh, as I say, tendy, but he was quite the reverse, a bit wicked, uh, the gate was closed. So uh, I'd open the gate and he'd come out as it was the car across the way. I'd have to open the door, let him in and drive him into the drive. So we had these habits. <laughs> this fella. So he was a very uh, loyal dog. As a matter of fact, when I think of it, you know, even though he might be after having a stressful day, you got a great welcome from this lad. And is he, is he a collie, is he? He is. Oh, God, yes. Uh, we love collies, and I love a collie, and my wife certainly, is, she had the collie from the time she was young. And uh, we, love the, we love the collie breed because they're, they're nearly the most intelligent dog in our view. Absolutely, they're very uh, smart. And uh, he, if if if, if oh, another thing happened, when we were going down to the school, we used to go down to the, the, the to the sea, you know, and he'd be he'd be running around. He went down to our side, and we were whistling, and he wouldn't come back. So because we were a bit worried, and uh, we went well, so sorry, he'd find his way home probably. We went back to the car, and there he was at the car. Now how we knew where the car was, I do not know, but yeah. he was at the car, so. A uh, collie dog is very intelligent. That's why their uh, farms have them if they're trained to look after sheep, or even cattle to bring them from a way off down back up to where they have to be missed. Did you have many dogs? 
uh, we always had a collie. Now we haven't got one now because we're living in a place where where the, the cattle uh, have calves, and you know he might bark because he, he well he didn't bark now when he was there. He was a good watchdog, but if he was. Um, uh, uh, you know, the farmer would say he he, he lost a calf because of his yeah. empty. So we can't have one now, which is a big regret, because we have plenty of space for for a collie, any amount of space. But we we just can't take the chance in it that we could be uh, uh, have that experience. And how many years did Tendy live? He lived a good few years. Now, when I say a good few years. Um, we got him and he was already a few years old. He lived a good few years until a bit of an accident happened with a train. A train? A train, yeah, because we used to go for walks and he was he was very uh, he was very fond of us and he happened to be on the far side and this actually this train didn't uh, uh, did, did, didn't uh, uh, toot and he was killed. Well he was hit by the train? He was hit by the train because he was running back to us obviously. He was on the far side and normally if we heard the train it beep or made a noise because along this stretch uh, there would be people kind of walking near the sea and maybe crossing the, the line and most of the trains going down towards Wetwood, that's where they were going, would, would be beeping or, or whatever to do to make uh, indicate, to indicate that they were coming because people wouldn't hear them. And, but he didn't. This particular driver of that train didn't do any of that. Oh, yeah. And otherwise we would have been able to deal with it. So that caused a bit of uh, a, bit, a bit of upset, naturally. Of course. Yeah. Terrible. But there he is anyways. He's, he's in paintings and he's in photographs. So he's, he's well remembered <laughs> and we still talk about him. He sounds like quite a character. He was a character. Thank you, John. Thank you.